Today, I wanna to share with you a few family favorite meals. For the menu today, we have our version of avocado toast for breakfast, homemade banana bread, fresh fruit, and spinach smoothies for lunch, and freshly made croissants, homegrown potatoes, a fresh green salad, and lamb for dinner. One of my personal favorite breakfast options right now is avocado toast. I either like to make this on Julianne's homemade sourdough bread or on Ezekiel bread. I like to toast up the bread first and put a little bit of butter on top. Next, I prepare two eggs for poaching. I like to strain out any loose portions of the egg before adding it to the pot of boiling water. Next, I like to prepare the other items that I like on top of the toast. Currently, my favorite toppings are fresh avocado, fresh chopped tomato, and that delicious everything seasoning, and a little bit of salt and pepper on top. When poaching eggs, bring your pot to a boil and make sure that the water has a splash of vinegar in it. Once the water is boiling, give the pot a nice swirl. Then quickly add in those eggs. When the eggs are done, I like to put them on a paper towel to absorb all that extra liquid. You don't want that liquid on top of your toast. Now comes the fun part. We get to assemble our avocado toast. In our house, banana bread is an acceptable option for any meal or snack during the day. Today we're having it for lunch and Tabitha wanted to make it herself. 
If you would like the full recipe for the banana bread that we love, we will leave that link down in the description. Try really hard not to touch the sides because it just burns on the side. I do want to incorporate a few extra nutritious options for lunch, so we are adding some fresh grapes and then a delicious smoothie to the menu as well. Today, Julianne is throwing together a delicious smoothie which includes fresh spinach, frozen mixed berries, some of our raw honey to sweeten things up a little bit, and our homemade yogurt. We make our homemade yogurt using raw milk in the Instapot, and it really is simple. Anyone can do it. Homemade yogurt made with raw milk will always be a little bit more runny than store-bought yogurt, which is why it's a perfect option for making homemade smoothies or parfaits. Smoothies end up being a staple lunch in our house because it's filling, nutritious, and we can use whatever fruits are in season.
One of my favorite things about growing and storing our own homegrown garden food is that I get to walk down into the root cellar and grab our fresh garden potatoes anytime I need them. So tonight, potatoes are on the menu. We store potatoes with the dirt still on them, so I always have to give them a quick scrub before I'm ready to use them. But it's easy. I like to bake them in the oven at 400 degrees and let them just cook up until they're fully soft and done and squishy on the inside. A fun tip, if you want a crispy skin on the outside of your potatoes, make sure the skins are wet and sprinkle them with salt before you put them in the oven. You will get amazing crispy skin on the outside of your potatoes and it will be beautifully soft on the inside. If you have never tried a homemade butter croissant, I promise you it is worth the time and effort. Today, Julianne is whipping some up for our dinner. Not only are they gorgeous, but they are buttery and light and fluffy. So good. Since we're having lamb tonight, I want to throw together some tzatziki sauce. You know that fresh, creamy white sauce that usually get on top of a gyro? That's tzatziki sauce, and it's so good with any kind of lamb. And it's super easy to throw together as well. You just chop up some cucumbers into small little cubes and put those in a strainer with some salt because you want to draw out all of that extra liquid. You don't want that liquid in your sauce. Then add in some simple ingredients like olive oil, fresh yogurt, dill, lemon juice, salt. You just can't go wrong with all that goodness.
Now Elise is gonna throw together a fresh greens Greek salad for us. Shockingly, everyone in our house will happily eat a salad, so I definitely take advantage of that. And it tends to be on our dinner menu most nights. Okay, now it's time to prepare the star of the show. We raise grass-fed lamb here on the farm and it is quickly becoming my favorite meat to prepare and serve. Josh is helping out in the kitchen today and he's going to slice up the lamb into thin strips for me. I'm using my cast iron pans to cook up the lamb in a delicious brown butter sage sauce. The lamb only takes a few minutes on each side and then it's ready. And I'm telling you, this lamb was similar to filet mignon. It was so delicious. Grass-fed lamb has a beautiful mild beef flavor. And if you've never tried it before, I highly recommend it. All right, let's assemble our plate and dinner is served. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what was on our menu today. We appreciate you all, and we'll talk to you soon.